Hello guys, kamusta kayong lahat? At welcome back dito sa May Art Life. So for today's episode, we will review and swatch the Kuretake Gansai Tambi. This is the 36 color set and today I'm going to share with you uh, my opinions and what I think about this watercolor set. I've heard so many good things about Kuretake Gansai Tambi from watching uh, reviews by other um, art YouTubers and also um, articles over the internet and uh, some de descriptions of the product itself. So totoo lang, ang tagal ko na gusto magkaroon ng Kuretake Gansai Tambi na to. Um, it's ever since na uh, nag-start or even before pa ako mag-start ng YouTube channel. And finally, ito na siya. And nabili ko tong set na to sa Art Bar, sa May Serendra. So Art Bar, thank you so much for carrying this wonderful product. For those of you who would like to learn more about Kuretake and their products, uh, they do have QR codes in this paper insert. Uh, you can go to those websites. In terms of the packaging, as you can see here, meron siyang uh, plastic protector. And uh, usually, tinatapon lang ito. Pero ako, I don't think I'm gonna throw this away. Kasi kung titingnan nyo, pwede mo pa siyang gamitin as a mixing palette. And of course, this would help protect the paint set. So, now let's take a look at all of the colors that this Kuretake Gansai Tambi has. Um, so, here are all of the 36 colors for this set. Actually, one of the reasons why gustong gusto ko magkaroon ng watercolor set na to is because not only you get uh, basic colors and special colors, but also you get metallic colors. Ito yung tato niya, silver and dalawang types ng gold. You may also think na mahal ang watercolor set na to because it's over 2,000 pesos. But take a look at the pans. These are full pans. And uh, most of the time, you will get half pans lang on other watercolors with the same price range. Now let me show you um, this pan. Uh, this is actually in the color Aurora. It's parang silver or pearlescent color. Uh, this is not Kuretake Gansai Tambi. This is actually uh, Boku Undo. Uh, this is another type of Gansai Tambi na available to Japan and I got this for 200 yen. Uh, gusto ko lang makita if this would fit um, the pants here sa Gansai Tambi because it looks very similar and I think it's the same size. And as you can see here, kasang kasa siya, walang problema so I can buy refills. Although available din sa Gansai Tambi website or Kuretake website ang mga individual refills for the Kuretake Gansai Tambi. Okay. At the front of the cover, you can see the name of the product in gold. And if you turn it around, uh, nandiyan yung list ng names, ng colors. Although, it is in Japanese. This is actually a swatch sheet para meron kang reference all the time. Nasa likod lang siya ng cover. And don't throw away this paper insert. This is the one from the packaging kanina because it has the names or English names of each color. So, you can just match it with the color number para malaman nyo yung English name nung, nung each color. As you can see, each color name has a blank space on its right side. Ngayon, dyan kayo pwedeng mag-swatch ng color. But for today, I'm going to use my own uh, swatch sheet para mas organize. And sinundan ko yung uh, paper insert kanina with the English names. So yun yung gagamitin natin as a reference. And simulan na natin with our first color which is the basic red. And I must say, Grabe yung vibrancy and yung saturation ng color niya. And uh, konti lang ginamit kung paint dito. Not very much but it goes a very very long way. So for our next color, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Let's take uh, a closer look. Diyan ako kumukuha sa gilid. And uh, not much water. I don't use that much water para mas saturated yung kulay na makita natin. And as you can see here, yung paint is only at the tip of the brush. Pero tingnan natin uh, how well it would uh, stain the paper at makikita nyo naman solid na solid yung kulay. Alam nyo, come to think of it, uh, naisip ko lang yung 2,200 pesos na watercolor set na to, parang mura na rin siya uh, kung tutuusin dahil number one, yun nga, full pan siya. So, ang laki nung bawat pan for each color. And at the same time, yung saturation niya, Sobra as in grabe, um, pigmented talaga siya. So, konti lang yung paint na gagamitin nyo every time. And uh, matagal yung to bago mauubos. Yung first impression ko sa watercolor set na to is uh, parang ang dami niyang reds, ang dami niyang blue, at saka green. Tapos yung mga colors na parang 
sobrang similar. Feeling ko parang sayang kasi pwede pa sila maglagay ng colors other than that. Pero as I am swatching these, uh, nakita ko na yung reason kung bakit marami. Yung mga colors na similar, yung isa pala is warm tone, yung isa naman is cool tones. So, um, this would also be beneficial for you kasi hindi mo kailangan maghalo na maghalo ng kulay. Dahil readily available na sa'yo yung cool tones ng red, yung warm tones ng red, and the same goes dun sa greens and blues. Tapos may mga konti siya na unique colors. So, papakita ko sa inyo later on. Para naman sa white paint ng uh, Kuretake Kansai Tabi, meron din ako naging observation. Uh, usually kasi sanay ako na Chinese white ang kasama sa mga watercolor set para sa pag-highlight or you know, uh, making the colors opaque. Pero this white, although in initially mukha siyang opaque, pero as it dries, nagiging transparent siya. And as you can see here, pakunti-kunti na siyang nawawala and it's fading out into the black. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, pero may isa pa akong na-observe this time naman sa packaging. Uh, maganda siya, di ba? It's, it's parang uh, yellow-green, tapos uh, ang professional ng itsura niya, parang talagang pro na pro yung dating. Kaso nga lang, packaging is made out of cardboard, so kailangan very careful ka kasi madali itong mabarag or madamage kapag nalaglag mo. It's also not good for wear and tear. After some time, malamang yan, uh, magkakaroon na ng scrapes yung cardboard. Another is yung size ng packaging. Parang hindi siya made for portability. Kasi you're going to need to shut the cover. Kasi walang, walang shutters yung cover. Wala tong lock. So, either ilagay mo siya sa another container or lagay mo siya ng uh, rubber band para hindi matanggal yung cover. Also, you should protect it from water damage kasi kapag nabasa, alam niyo naman yung mangyari sa cardboard. Um, it would warp or mapupunit na siya after it gets wet. So, yun lang siguro yung take ko regarding the, the packaging. So, I think you should be very very careful in handling uh, this watercolor set. Uh, also, I don't see myself using this watercolor set outdoors you know, or on the go. Kasi sobrang laki nga nung uh, size niya. And at the same time, uh, pwedeng pagka nalagay mo siya sa unstable na surface, pwede siyang mabuhos tapos magkakalat-kalat lahat nung, nung pans niya. And uh, dahil nga hindi secure yung cover at hindi nakasecure yung mga pans eh. Nakalagay lang siya dun sa mga uh, slots. So madali siyang matanggal. In my opinion, this is best used indoors uh, in your private space. By the way guys, while I am swatching the rest of the colors here, uh, it will be awesome if you can subscribe and it will be more awesome if you can like and also share the video to your friends and to other social media. Doon naman sa mga naka-subscribe na, thank you so much guys. I really, really appreciate your subscription and also for, you know, always hanging out with me pag may bagong videos and that uh, you are a true my art lifer. Thank you so much. So, uh, while we are continuing with swatching, uh, share ko rin sa inyo yung mga na-research ko online. Um, this is from other websites, saka dun sa mismo website ni Kuretake. So, let's see here. Uh, ang sabi rito, uh, Kuretake Gansai Tambi watercolors are handcrafted. Okay, so that's awesome. That's good to know. Uh, it's professional quality. Okay, so professional quality Japanese watercolors with a high blendability. Oh, that's correct. Kasi napaka creamy and smooth no consistency ng paints na to. Parang asang hindi paints eh. It's more like parang ink. Tapos uh, kahit ang dami mo ng water na nilagay, yung consistency niya creamy pa rin eh. Parang, parang kang gumagamit ng, ng oil. Subukan yung mag-paint using oil. Ganun sa. Hindi yung oil paint sa. Yung uh, yung oil, like baby oil or mantika. Ang sabi rin dito, uh, the colors are rich and intense. Yes, uh, napakita ko na sa inyo kanina. Very saturated yung each color niya. And, uh, sabi rin dito, it exhibits greater opacity than European or American watercolors in traditional Japanese style. Oh, kasi usually Japanese use inks. 
on their paintings and basic colors lang sila usually pero they like yung mga strong colors um, saturated colors and very vibrant ones uh, you will see that in their uh, Japanese paintings you can use this lush watercolors for sketching illustration sumie ito yung ano nila sumie is yung uh, ink paintings uh, itegami uh, ink like washing painting oh that's true kasi nga parang parang gumagamit ng inks eh. uh, and more okay i agree with that marami tong pwedeng applications na paggamitan uh, it says here all colors are certified non-toxic and pans measure approximately two inch by one inch uh oh uh, full pans nga siya so malalaki Sabi naman dito on the Kuretake official site, uh, these are traditional Japanese solid water colors for professional artists and crafters. Okay, and also by using original colors instead of mixing with other colors, the colors obtain a higher brilliance. And totoo yan, di ba? Na explain ko na sa inyo kanina na ang dami niyang reds, blues, and greens. Tapos, um, you don't spend much time mixing kasi nga, dahil readily available na sa'yo yung warm and cool tones. It's also stated here sa website ni Kuretake na these watercolors have bright colors because they keep the number of ingredients to a bare minimum. Uh, ibig sabihin nito, hindi sila gumamit ng mga fillers or extenders unlike other watercolors, kaya nagiging chalky. Uh, sabi rin dito, it's quick dissolving and clean blending, which is correct. Uh, once you touch your wet brush dun sa pan, you can easily pick up colors. Tapos, uh, once you paint it on paper, um, it is very easy to do a uh, lifting ng paint. Pero at the same time, it stains din the paper. So, you can only lift as much. So, overall, these are very good quality watercolors and I highly recommend it. Especially, um, these are professional grade watercolors for the price of 2,200 pesos. I know it sounds like it's pricey, but in the long run, it's all worth it. So, if you're uh, planning to buy a Kuretake Gansai Tambi set, I'd say yes, go for it. It comes in different sets. Uh, we have set of 12 next is set of 18 then 24 36 kasi yung pinaka bago is 48 actually uh, medyo na heartbroken nga ako na nung bumili ako nung 36 color set kasi after a few weeks lang nilabas na nila yung availability nung 48 color sets and ang daming kulay dun na wala dun sa 36 color set mainly yung skin tones niya na natural beige this is the yellow skin tone uh, at yung isa naman is rose beige ito yung parang reddish skin tone uh, meron din siya nung greenish yellow itong isang to may pagka chameleon siya dahil meron siyang yellow undertone so the more paint that you use nagiging parang olive green siya and then the lesser paint nagiging mas parang bright yellow green siya or chartreuse ang nga pala guys ito yung silver paint na kasama dito sa 36 color set and medyo na disappoint ako kasi it says silver pero hindi siya ganang ka opaque uh, nakikita niyo naman translucent siya or transparent pero actually if you mix it with other colors you will make pearlescent colors so good deal na din next color naman natin is itong bluish gold actually hindi ko alam kung bakit pinangalanan nila to ng bluish gold pero it's more like yellow gold to me uh, may napansin lang din ako dito if you can see uh, marami siyang air bubbles or air pockets inside the paint and you know naman if you get more space underneath or more air bubbles that means you get lesser paint pero buti na lang itong paint na to uh, it's opaque so uh, good that's good pero yun medyo na put off lang ako with the uh, air bubbles na nandun sa paint as we go along our last color for today uh, this is the gold and ito napagkamalang kong bronze nung una uh, may mga air bubbles din siya just like the bluish gold kanina so again the more bubbles the more air pockets the less paint you get okay so hopefully kasing opaque din ito nung uh, bluish gold kanina and so far it's looking good <laughs> opaque din naman siya so let's take a look at uh, how it shimmers and shines 
and uh, doon natin makikita kung gaano siya ka metallic and yeah it's good and so far na cover niya rin yung black band or yung black background so that means it's fully opaque nakaka mesmerize talaga tingnan yung mga uh, metallic colors nito and uh, it's very satisfying to watch don't you think all right so that is our full swatching of the kuretake gansai tambi 36 watercolor set and uh, let's take a last look with all of the colors that we swatched today and of course we'll be binging with the metallic colors it really is so satisfying to watch balikan din pala natin yung white uh, na paint no sin watch natin kanina and i did a little bit of research and it says there na if your white is not opaque then this is used mainly and solely for lightening other tints or other colors so for mixing lang siya um wag nito gamitin for highlights and all all right so that is it for today's review and swatching of the kuretake kansai tabi 36 watercolor set and uh, as always guys uh, let me know which colors did you like today um leave a comment I also hope na na-enjoy nyo ang pagsaswatch natin today and gusto ko kayong pasalamatan lahat for hanging out with me every time na may bago tayong video. And by the way, everybody please do take care and be safe. Alright? Have a great day.